Hey folks, uh, Karel here from Data Dusers. Today I'm going to show you how to implement filter actions in QuickSend. There are three different types of actions that you can set up, filter, navigation, and URL. We're going to cover uh, navigation and URL in other videos, but today we're going to focus on filter actions. We already covered this topic when we built our dashboard to track the COVID cases and deaths. You can check that video on the link on your screen if you haven't, but we are going to do a deep dive now. So let's go ahead and build this. Setting up filter action is very easy. All you need to do is select the visual that you're going to use to trigger that action and then open the actions menu. And as you can see, you have two options. We create that will filter same sheet visuals and define a custom action. The quick create option is something that I use a lot and you probably will do as well. And this is a very simple way to create a filter action. So if you click there, automatically QuickSight is going to create a filter action to all the visuals that you have in your sheet and are going to be triggered by all the dimensions that you have in your visual. So what does this mean? Well, if you see, we created this continent and country filters, and by using this, these are global, we can select the continents or countries that we want to focus on our dashboard. So this quick create action is going to create a filter, a global filter to your dashboard, but it's going to be triggered by the dimensions that you have in your view. For example, by doing this, if we click on Europe, this is going to filter the entire dashboard by Europe, which is the data point that we are selecting. And that's why it's called a filter action because it's filtering, depending on what you select on your visual. If we click South America, then everything is going to filter by the continent South America. In the same way, if we drill down, remember that we have the location, the country as well in this visual, it is going to work the same way. So if we can click on Brazil, then everything is going to filter by Brazil. So it doesn't matter if it's a continent or country, in this case, in this drill down, whatever you have there is going to trigger that filter action. And this is going to be very useful. Let's just keep this like that. I'm just going to edit and I'm going to simply change the name filter by continent and country. So now I have a filter action called filter by continent and country that was created using this quick create option and will be triggered from this visual right here. Any other visual is going to trigger any action because I haven't set up anything for this one. This action is going to be applied on the context of this visual, right? So I have what I want. And at this point, you can either decide that you don't need these filters at the top. You want to leave your filters by this visual. That can be an approach. That's up to you, and that's one of the advantages of using filter actions. And you can sometimes remove some of the controls that you have because you can override the action that those filters have by using the actions from the visuals. But we're going to leave those, and now we know that our users can interact with our dashboard from this very same visual. Now, let's do a different approach now, and now let's say that we want to filter all the visuals in our dashboard by the countries from this map, except this one, because it doesn't make much sense if we're going to have this aggregated at the continent by default. Well, if we select one country, then you're only going to have a bar here. So let's make it our use case right now. And let's say that we want to trigger a filter action by our countries in the map, but that action will not be applied to this visual right here. So. How do we do that? We can define a custom action. So if we click on that, we're going to add a title 
and we're going to say filter by country and I'm going to say that that's going to be triggered from map and that's going to help me identify that the naming convention depends on your approach. You have two options, select or menu options. We want to keep select because select means that when you click on any data point, the action is going to trigger while the menu option, we're going to review that later, but you have to right click and you're going to have the option there. But we're going to keep that as a select, noting that one visual only can have one select action. If you're going to configure multiple actions in one visual, you can have one trigger by select and all the others are going to have to be triggered by menu. We're going to get there. So for this one, we're going to keep a select. And then in the action type, you can have three options. As I mentioned, filter, navigation, and URL actions. We're going to cover these two later, but for this one, we're going to keep it as filter. And the scope, in this case, I'm going to leave all fields. I only have countries plotted here. But in my target visuals, I can select which visuals are going to be affected by that action, which is the same thing that if we are applying a filter, we can select the visuals that we want that filter to be applied. Well, it's the same thing, the same logic. So we want to apply this to all the visuals except total cases by continent. So we're going to unselect this one and we're going to save that action. Now, our action is created. And if we click in United States, all our visuals are going to recalculate except this one. So note that this one remained exactly the same. So if I drill down, I'm going to see the United States there. And if I click, let's say now Brazil, my visuals are going to change, but not this one. And that's how filter actions work. As you can see and you can imagine, these are very helpful and I can tell you for sure that you are going to use this a lot. And a quick note, the action that we created right here from scratch, you can do it that way or if you're creating a filter action, you can just create the action by the quick create button and then come here and edit and just select the target visuals that you want. Same thing we did. and change the name and that will have the same effect so you can create it from scratch or you can trigger that from the quick create and then edit so that's it that's filter action very easy to set up and very helpful for your users and for yourself when you are interacting with your dashboard if you find our content interesting i hope that's the case please like our videos subscribe to our channel so you can keep track of our content Thank you so much for watching. See you around.